Is that the game over screen? I was expecting a head bursting. Same. That may be just be the, the interval for day three. We really don't know. Hmm. It would be hilarious if it just went like, oh yeah, yeah game over, by the way. You, you, you can leave now. <laughs> That'd be kind of, that would be kind of funny, to be fair. I mean, a little bit, yeah, but... Yeah. It, it also seems relatively weak sauce. No. Both my headache and these nightmares are getting worse. That was the interval. Uh, the entire day you can pass, and nothing happened. Right, well that's... Well, let, let's go back to the balcony and do it again until we actually fucking die. We are trying to get the head to explode here. Yes. Just to be clear. Go for it, yeah, work away. Right. Now, again, shocking enough, Paul, this is actually the last day of the game, so... Time passes. Time passes. Time passes. Like I'm summoning time itself. Time, 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 time. Time, 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 time. Time has run out. Ah, there we go. The alien embryo implanted in your brain is released. You die. Earth is doomed. Oh. That didn't even give me the half mast. No. <laughs> the artwork was dicks all the way through, and I'm so disappointed. Like I am impotent with anger. Aren't we all, Paul? Aren't we all? The fact that like that was literally just a case of like you got wrong, you did wrong, you fucked up. Earth is dead. The end. <laughs> I love. I just love the 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 exponential like um, doom doomness of that. It's just like this thing in your head. Like has has given birth. You ran out of time. Everything is dead. Earth is dead. You're dead. Your father is dead. Your mother's dead. Your dog is dead. Everything is dead. And like most poor things, the survival of the entire universe is hinged on a single narcissistic writer. Yes. My how ironic. Sorry, I said the same thing twice there. A writer. Oof. Paul. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> So is you there? Is there allowed narcissism to be a writer? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that, that's I, I got that part. <clears throat> thanks. So is there um, a game over screen here, or are we done? Are we good? Are we done? I have to write. I had to click it twice. That's why it wasn't coming up. Okay. So right. day two. Day two. Yes. So let me just get. And my... we have tasted um, what the pro life, pro life movement is. Yes. And found it lacking. Grant. So let's get ourselves fixed up with a nice abortion pill or a uh, 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 headache pill. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're going to get us in trouble with this. Listen, we, we already admitted we're not getting monetized. Fair. I think we, we admitted to defeat that years ago. <laughs> but of course, Paul, we can't go away without having a share because we're filthy. 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 So. Also, I have a bonus. Mm hmm. Like, now you back to the jokes I was making earlier. Yes. Every fucking teenager is having a long ass shower. Yeah, that's true. Because until they ha until they figure out the, the the incredibly complex code to mm. get into the tomb. Yes. It's the only time you get privacy. That's true. All right then. Time pass. Oh. I'm, sorry, I'm expecting the door ringing the doorbell. There we go. See. Someone's oh. like, I knew. What time are we at now? The time is. Uh, uh. 10.04 a.m. Who could be at the door? Anyone. Could be anybody. What's oh, in the package? Bert picked up this broken shard from your mirror and forgot to leave it at you. Sorry about that. Acne movers. So now, okay. Paul, we can complete the mirror. Are you ready? Which totally isn't a portal. Totally isn't a portal at all. Are you ready? Are you are you ready for this? I'm um, I'm a little aroused. Good. You should be. Oh no. Just tiny amount. I'm just trying to get it. There we go. Come on. Jiggle it. There we go. Alright. Ooh. Beow. 
Ain't this fancy? Because the mirror's been trying to capture your essence. I yes. think it's succeeded now. Are you ready to enter the dark world? I mean, if that's what you call a vagina, yeah. Too late. <laughs> Here you go. He voluntarily goes through. An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. And the rations Strange changed. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. Blop. Well, ain't this fucked up? The horrible shape twists and writhes as it hangs from its biomechanical umbilicus. So have you noticed anything in particular, Paul? It's we all we have two doors like we do in our own yeah. place. So this is a dark world counterpart. So let's have a look around. All right then. Yeah. This has been the this has been the main room. So yes. let's climb the panda skulls. Well, as you can see, yeah, there's there's a like a, again, as I said, a staircase of skulls. There's what we seem to be the door, the front door. We assume. But apparently not. What's about here? Do you like how the walls are literally murmuring? Mm. Love that. Murmuring. 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 The walls have political opinions. Mm. Old oh, ones. Old. Oh, go back Very to your old. own country. Don't fucking doubt. Oh. What's here? These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. Oh, look, it says Dawson. How convenient. They put an alien fetus in his head. Hooray. Hooray. <clears throat> okay, right then. Because as we all know, no abortions, not even for eight. Not even I don't that. I think there's anything in the world I could do to open that door. Really? Put your dick in it. I mean, you tried. Then get harder and try again. Ah, I don't think there's anything in this world that I can do to open that door. Let's go back to our world. See, and open the door and then come back. There you have it. But we left the door open. Well, we probably close after day two. Or after the end of day one, even. I'm suspicious if doors in our house are closing themselves. I would be too, to be fair. But let's let's just indulge a game here. It's it's clearly teaching us the gimmick here. So let's let's indulge. All right. There we go. Yep, there you go. See, it's closed. Fucking stay open. There we go. In fairness, it's a clever way of telling you how the dark world works. Whatever you do in this world, it has consequence in the other. What you're saying is, mm -hmm. with enough coordination. Yes. I can have some in the dark world waiting for just the right moment. Yeah. And while I'm entertaining guests in my lounge, yes. I'll hold out a cigarette and it'll light itself. It, does, it doesn't work that way, no. Because objects have different uses in the dark world. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like an inverse kind of thing. So like the most innocuous things. There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. Yikes. There we oh, go. Any machinery does. You're a writer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard on Nelson screen scared of computers again. That's a thumbnail. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Transporter! I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. It literally turned you to dust and then reassembled you. Soinks! I'm on. In you go. Open. Oh. Anything in this world? Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, yes, that old chestnut. Yes. Yeah, that's annoying. Right then. Back we go! Back we go! Ooh wee! Well, in fairness, I presume we can um, go up the stairs. Let's try this. No. I doubt it. Let's try. Yeah, here we are. This wall of skulls seems to be almost alive. Really? No? Oh. No, that's just the way in. Okay, right, so that's why we have to go this, that way. What have we in here? Strange alien smells are rising from the half-dead creatures encased in these glassine prisons. Glassine. Glassine, yes. Glassine. Glassine is a word. Glassine. 
This is some alien experiment that appears to have gone wrong. That's what you think. It's actually gone... No, it has gone wrong, but not for the reasons you think. Yes. The boy just ran out. <laughs> There's an empty case. Just waiting for the alien's next victim. Hmm. So you see, this, this, it kind of infers that this is the ancient's base, and it just happens to be that our house is where the base is. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. Did you just poke the sack? Like, not intentionally. He keeps walking into the sack like an idiot. We have a very low opinion of Mike Dawson in this playthrough, apparently. The game, uh, it's basically on part of the games. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's where we were there now, it seems to be there, the, that was the kitchen, so... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, the alien things are kept in the kitchen. Huh. Hmm. The budget did run out and they have to resell them as meat. Yeah, exactly. Now, we'd open this and not go through. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, because you have it. I, d I think we have to go through and close itself. Hmm. Yeah. Well because said. there's no open doorway on the, when we go through the room. Exactly. Well, show. well said. Hello. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, re-up the door. Oh, yeah. Good show, good show, good show, good show. Come back, Mike. Mike, come back. That's, yeah. There we go. There we go. Good, good spot, Pop. Mike, move. Good boy. Honestly, these game designers. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible case of not fucked. <laughs> yes, indeed. We're never getting the next game as well as book. <laughs> if this still doesn't work for us, I'm going to be very upset. Oh. Well, I'll be upset regardless. Yes. Saves time that way. Yeah, it does actually. Come on. What do you think of the art so far? Considering this is now the Dark World and this is all Hajar Giger. Gay. Hmm? Gay, but not in. Not in a way that's lucid. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what you mean now. I think. Hey, balcony! And look what we have! What? Binoculars! What? Binoculars! Why would that be there? Binoculars. Has someone been here before me? That's why. You fucking know they have! Mm hmm. You've read the fucking material! Yes. Do you, so. need, to, do you need to hand out to NBC and they explain it to you? Hmm. Let's have a look around. There are alien mountains in the distance. Use binoculars and mountains, I guess. Exactly. You use the binoculars. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's helped or not. This I don't know. old and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic. Uh, got the question mark and just look, hover over the mountains in case you see anything in particular. As soon as have a look. Yeah, actually, that's a good show. You're, I know what you mean now. There might be like spots. Yes. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm gonna do it here, maybe. Or is there? No. Okay, that's all we have done. Let's see the other spots. Yeah, there's no cursor coming up though, so. Yeah. I think it's just us actually looking through the, the door, the, uh, the area, as it were. So. Alright, what's that we have here? So we came to the near door, we can go to the far door. Hmm. What about that side? There's a strange lever projecting from the side of the edifice. Just there. That, in fairness, that one's fairly obvious because it's drawn differently. Hmm. Oh! Ha! Oh! Well! That was, that was a death! Was it? Yes! We have gloves. We have gloves. Yes. When did I save? We didn't save that at, at that point, but it's, it's quick enough progress, to be fair. So, let's just eat popcorn and enjoy ourselves. And you notice that was going back and forth. Mmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. All right. This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an environment. Yeah, save. Mm-hmm. And we will. I was just saying, gloves. Love you. <laughs> right. Let's do this. Gloves, there we are. 
with holding gloves. Thank you. From within, but nothing appears to happen. Okay. Alright. This looks like some strange abode of a biomechanical leech draining the life force from its victims. Really? That's pretty wild. They wanted to make poop sounds. But that's exactly the, why. Those are poop sounds. They're very poop sounds. That's probably some kind of force field generator that the biomechanical leech used to trap its victims. I guess. Really? <laughs> it's not pleasant, is it? That That's what you got out of this, huh? Mm-hmm. That's the bathroom, I think. Yeah, that's the bathroom. People are actively shitting in there. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So, where are we going next? We are going to study. Alright. Ah! That's what we're doing. We're opening the door out. Okay. To our own, out of, out of technically our house. This is the outside of the alien edifice. To the cemetery. I guess so. These petrified images of this alien wow. force remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. You have to say the art is pretty fucking awesome for the time. Yeah. Just to have this is incredible. All my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. Okay. Is there death apparent? It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now. I wonder that is that meant to be the mausoleum equivalent? Shovel? Shovel. Boop! <laughs> okay. Leave the cave and return to the house. The dark mirror house, I presume. Yep. Ah, yes, okay, we're just going back to the main house. Right then, so Paul, what do you think of the Dark World so far? I mean... Fucked up? Yes, but how to phrase this? I am confident this game designer has like thought of each and every one of those rooms and mm. actively and vigorously masturbated. <laughs> I mean, it's HR Giger. I mean, fair enough. Like, like he put his love, sweat, cum, and tears into this. <laughs> Is that probably why he got fired? <laughs> probably was a contributing factor. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to think so. It's like every morning. Getting there at 9 o'clock is late. Yes. Because there's always a rush for the desk that isn't fucking sticky. Mm. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Hang on. The Delbert gave us one of his cards, didn't he? The lawyer, yeah. Yes. Where is it, though? There's it there, isn't it? Maybe. There we go. Get out of jail free. Just making sure. Because we didn't actually flag it the last time, so. Right then. Paul. We've went to the dark world. Yep. We've had a lovely time. Mm hmm. Mike Dawson's stuck on a tree. Oh. Fucking idiot. Fancy you try. Fancy running grave, tro grave, grave robbing. I mean, it's not grave robbing. It's, it's a cemetery, not a cemetery. Cemetery. This is cemetery. It's not illegal at all to rob the dead. That's true. So, you remember when we went to the grandfather clock and we had a look at a name there of a yep. John McKeegan? There's no name on this stone. Well, it's time to rob his grave. What a complete rational thing to do. Yep. Sherry Days. Sherry Days. Hardcore bed and mud. He was no triple at all. J.T.K.S. Nostromo. Rest in peace. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. Bobby Jacobs. Never thought you'd end up here, did you? The inscription has eroded with time. Right, so you have to make sure we have the right grave. Get 
Well, well, you can start getting stuck on trees. It wouldn't do to, like, to dig out the wrong grave. No, that would be terrible. Jenny Poosh. May he rest in peace. Now, mm -hmm. those of you that know how much writers make might think this action's rational. Yes. However, a writer's time is worthless and a locksmith's time is worth money. Mm hmm. So it's far better to rob the fucking grave. Yes. To dig through its organs. Because that's better than paying for a fucking locksmith. There you go. 